giant otter is native to South America and can be found along the Amazon River and surrounding rainforest. This semi-aquatic mammal is the world's largest species of otter in terms of length, growing up to 6 feet. They are also known as river wolves because of their social hunting ability. If hunting alone, a single otter will predate on fish such as piranha, but these otters also hunt in large groups of up to 20 individuals, so they can hunt for bigger prey such as caiman, snakes and turtles. They have adapted perfectly for life in the murky rivers. They have large webbed feet to pull them through the water, two layers of thick fur to keep them warm and dry, and a very powerful tail to propel themselves and turn at speed. They also have extremely sensitive whiskers that can feel vibrations through the water even when visibility is almost zero. One of the otter's favourite foods is piranha. Now this is an extremely bony fish but they are no match for the powerful jaws and teeth. Crushing the bones flat, they are able to swallow the fish head first. This ensures that any bones remaining are folded flat and do not hurt the animal on its way down the gullet. Something has caught their attention. They are extremely inquisitive and will investigate almost anything. Unsure as to what it could be, they gather together vocalising and are on guard. They are extremely sociable animals and will always gather together when investigating anything unusual in their territory. In this case it's an inanimate object but you never know what could be underneath. Cautiously they check it out and make sure it's safe. Even as adults, they are very playful animals. This watermelon makes a great toy. They enjoy pushing it around and trying to get it out of the pond. This helps with dexterity and encourages problem solving. It certainly seems to be fun. They are extremely vocal and have nine main vocalisations ranging from squeaks, barks and whistles. When they see something in the distance they will often gather standing on their hind legs and start to call. They are one of the top predators in the Amazon but despite this they are still classified as endangered with estimates being less than 5,000 in the wild. This is due to habitat loss, mining and poaching for their pelt. With more conservation efforts and better education, we can continue to preserve this species and ensure its safety and success for future generations to enjoy and protect. <laughs>